Hello. Good morning, good afternoon. My name is David Fonseca, uh, the main author of the paper that I'm going to present, Sign of Didactic Units, focused on improving diversity gaps within new multidisciplinary spaces, the STEAM labs. Uh, this paper uh, is related to the CRESTEAM project, and a project that has been founded by the European Union in the framework of the Erasmus Plus KX2 project, uh, of which uh, I am also uh, the main investigator. As you can see here, the project has a duration of two years uh, uh, with uh, an extension of a half year more, and in next March of 2023. Uh, it is composed of a consortium of seven entities from Spain, Italy, Turkey, German, and with the participation of more than 10 schools more from these uh, countries. The project has two main objectives, focus on mapping, creating and disseminating good STEAM practice, aim at reducing any gap in diversity by working in new collaborative environments, the STEAM labs, being this the second objective, to create new multidisciplinary uh, spaces in the schools that address gaps in diversity from a STEAM perspective. Uh, the creation of these spaces is related to the need uh, of rethinking the school infrastructures for the implementation of teaching uh, curriculum, especially activities related to the STEAM field, the STEAM uh, framework, which has been predominant in the recent years in all uh, levels of uh, Education, modifying the educational and instructional culture of the school to obtain results aligned with the most current thesis of educational innovation and professional preparation of the student is a differential factor that identifies the uh, or project. No, here you can see here more or less the scale. In this paper, we present the design of the unit plan. The unit plan is this uh, template that. Uh, um, uh, um, have all the information about to characterize each practice or project uh, that uh, we uh, design in these spaces. As you can see here in the new spaces, to, uh, when we collect all data, we can identify the main methodological approach, the technological uh, uses, always the main areas of the STEAM framework that the practice are developing, is developing, also the instructional that the teachers are using. As you can see here, we can uh, describe all the steps that are necessary to develop this exercise in our classroom in order to, uh, that we can replicate in other schools and we can share our uh, unit plans with other schools and enrich our educational study. Also, we have a pre and post test surveys to measure the motivation, satisfaction, usability, and other aspects of each practice. Also, we collect all data evidences about the uh, design of the STEAM lab and the development of the each practice in the STEAM lab. As you can see here, we have a space when we can make a class. Also, we can design, we can uh, create our first steps of our development and finally to uh, implement in their real uh, life. As can be seen here from our first study of the results of a sample of 25 units plan, the use of video, computer, three-dimensional three models, photos, 3D printing, and portfolios, uh, together with approaches that propose interactions in the areas of four fields, always including technology, uh, technologies, and in this case with an interdisciplinary instruction with an average of six, seven hours of activities with a combination of active learning, project-based learning, a collabor and collaborative learning, and focus to uh, improve the diversity gap in gender are the main gap, are the main approach that we can find in all the unit plans that the school has been developing in the last uh, two years. And that's all. Thank you so much for your attention. We remain at your disposal by mail or in person to resolve any more details of the ongoing project. And that's all. Thank you so much. Bye bye.